at the end of the day, a platform is owned by the majority. And the, when the majority is a, a, you know, a group of miners or two or three groups of miners that, that get to decide on everything that happens, then it's somewhat centralized. Even though it's a decentralized system, it's become somewhat centralized. Um, EOS has spent an entire year distributing their tokens so that that does not happen. And they knew how important that was from the beginning. And any other chain that wants to compete with EOS is going to have to do the same thing. How many other ICOs have announced that they're going to take a whole year? Exactly. Zero. So EOS is positioning itself to be the platform. You don't need more than one. Microsoft, you have Apple. I get it. Okay. I'm not suggesting that they're only going to be the one. But you don't need more than one blockchain. You just need a blockchain that works. And then you can put any app you want on top of it. And that's what's going to happen. And all these big businesses, Amazon, Google, YouTube, you know, all these big uh, subscriber-based type systems are going are gonna to have major competition from EOS and the apps on top of it. Because people are sick of watching Google get rich on our money through advertising. And they're sick of, you know, YouTube coming in and saying, we're going to demonetize your videos because we think what you're saying is fake news. Well, who are you to decide what's fake news? That's what the people are for. Let us decide who's fake news. We don't need someone telling us what's fake news. It just essentially gives them the right to keep things on their specific narrative. And that's exactly what they're doing. So yeah, DTube is probably going to take off, I would imagine, or something very similar to it. You know, there's going to be a Duber, a decentralized Uber. Because taxi, uh, not taxi drivers, but uh, the Uber drivers stand to gain a large percentage of their feedback when you don't have to take a huge cut right out of the middle to support the servers and the software developers and that whole organization, right? It's massive at this point. You could put Duber on EOS and you're going to get people that are interested in programming it with you because they're going to own some of Duber, the coin. And that's going to give them the motivation to jump in there and make it better. And if you're a driver, you got to have a benefit to owning Duber coin because you're driving for the company and you own a piece of it. These are motivations that are being aligned in the correct way. And, I, and the one that, that took me the longest to really understand is the EOS storage. And I know Dan was big on it because of his comments that I've heard. So it, 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 I really, I wanted to understand it more and I just kept going and going and looking for data on it and what it, what it, how it was gonna work and I finally grasped it. And what it comes down to is a circle of motivation and it starts Dan, with Dan. Dan has a software system that he's going to put out in June and it promises a lot. So we get excited about it and we want to put some money into it. So you go try to buy a few tokens. You realize that it's not, you can't do it in the U.S. or China. So you got to bend some rules or buy a VPN. And there's videos out there that can explain to you all that stuff. BitShares is a decent uh, solution. But so you, you want to buy some hang on one second so you end up with uh, you know everybody's going out and getting these EOS tokens because of what it promises to, to, to resolve for all of us and all that money for the whole year is being pulled to Dan's company called Block One it's his money Block One's money um which is brilliant in its own right, because for the whole year, as the price up or down, whatever, they're still making that money. And what he's done to 
further motivate uh, in the right direction is he set up venture capitalist relationships, venture capital huh, relationships with the money. He put 300 million into uh, one of them and said, hey, go find me some talented developers that want to build decentralized apps on EOS. In fact, the venture capitalist firms are going to match some of that money with their own money. So they're going to have skin in the game. I mean, so millions of people buy EOS tokens. The money is put into Block One's name. Block One sets up relationships with venture capital firms to go out and find developers that want to build systems on EOS. The venture capital and Block One are the ones giving that money to the developers to do the work. But the developers come out with the coin for their software program, whatever that app may be, and they distribute the coins to all of the EOS token holders, which is where the money came from in the first place. That, my friends, is uncanny. So there are over $2 billion of which hundreds of millions have already been assigned out to venture capital firms, but the majority of which I believe that money will be used to develop the ecosystem around EOS. Billions of dollars to develop the ecosystem around EOS. Now, delegated proof of stake requires 20 21 block producers. Those block producers get paid with through the inflation on EOS, less than 5% year. They get a portion of that to maintain the data and the storage for EOS. Okay? So if you want, in other words, the storage on EOS is free because the block producers are getting paid through the minting of new EOS coins on the inflation. They're getting paid, that's how they're getting paid to update their storage, increase their capacity. So when I say block producer, a lot of people just assume I'm talking about some average Joe that lives over here and he's got a big old server in his bedroom. A block producer, I believe in Dan's mind, is going to be probably a large company that already maybe hosts data or is in the data field or the data data world um, and they've got you know probably already have racks and racks of of servers and storage um, and that they're getting paid for and they're going to then decide to become a block producer for EOS so they set up a few extra racks in the back of the warehouse and say okay well that's our EOS storage and then everybody who wants to build an app on EOS and host it there for free can do so just by putting in a deposit. And they put all that data on the EOS system, which essentially resides on the 21 block producing uh, servers or the, resides on the equipment of the 21 block producers. Now, as EOS, the business grows, so the, the inflation amount is worth even more. So as EOS, as the price continues to climb, then the block producers are making more money every year to put into their equipment. And they need to put it into their equipment because if they don't and they're just taking the money and buying Lamborghinis, then we're gonna vote them out as a block producer. So there'll be, you know, some standards as to, you know, hey, if you're a block producer these days, you need to at least have blah, 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 gigabytes of blah, blah, blah if to, you know, sustain the network. And next year we expect, you know, a order of magnitude larger amount of people. So uh, we're gonna maybe allocate 4% inflation to the block producers in the next year. And we really hope that they're gonna spend that um, to, and they're gonna spend that to increase their capacity. So. The whole world will have the ability to store whatever they want for free on EOS because 
we bought the tokens, we want to own the tokens, we don't want to sell the tokens, and that money is being paid to venture capitalist firms to find developers who want to write programs to put on EOS so that any business could store their data on EOS for free and the motivation, they're not paying for that storage. The, the block producers on EOS are getting paid by the inflation which but and and those block producers don't do the voting not like the miners on bitcoin and ethereum the block producers don't do the voting we do the voting we the token holders which is where the money started with in the first place so they've really really positioned the motivations on everything they've thought it out they've got a heck of a team I think nothing but the best of the project. I, uh, I just wanted to spend some time and share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know I'll be back with more thoughts as they come. You guys have a great day. See ya.